In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of a line depending on if it's selected or not. So in this use case, we have a table uh, with a list of um, rental cars. And what we do is uh, on the line, we have a workflow where when the user clicks on a line, it changes a variable value. So the variable value is called selected line. Um, you can see it here. It's an object type variable. And what it does is it takes all the, um, all the data from the object um, on the line that the user selected. So in this case, you can see here, we bind it to the item data object, uh, which we web automatically recognizes when the user clicks on the line. So this is pretty cool. It's very helpful to uh, pre-fill uh, this form that we have here. So if I click here, this is automatically updated. The problem is um, it's not, you know, visually, I can't really tell if which line I last, last clicked on. So what I would like is I would like to add a little bit of background color for the currently selected line. So let's do this right now. We need to go on the line. And what we'll do is we'll go to background and we'll bind the background color to a no code formula. And what we'll say is we'll say if, if the item data um, ID here is the same, is equal to the item data in our selected line variable, which is here, then we want um, as a color, we want to use this, which is a light gray color that you can see here appear. Otherwise, we just want to um, use the usual F, 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 which is uh, um, the white, a uh, white color. And so now if we go back into preview mode, if we select a line, it will update the form, but it will also um, underline basically uh, display which line is currently selected. And if you uh, are curious about how we managed to pre-fill this, it's all explained in a separate tutorial.